Welcome to our portion of the picking party tonight. Been down there in WCBY, North Carolina. Yeah, Pat. Y'all still out there in the back? Yeah. We can kind of hear you. I don't know yet. There you go. Can see you. Get loud back there. It's Saturday night in Fayette County. Get loud. West Virginia kicked ass, too. <laughs> yeah, they did. West Virginia did, pal. <laughs> We're going to do an instrumental tune and uh, introduce this guy down here on the uh, blues guitar. <laughs> on the Dobro down here, originally from Birch River, West, West Virginia. <laughs> now it makes his home in Summers, though. Give Mr. Chris Stockwell a big hand. Here's one called the Foggy Mountain Rock for you. <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll take a minute to introduce this next guy for you. He's the prima donna rock star of the band up here, as you can tell. Primo. Primo Dono. <laughs> With no voice. All right, we're going to do you an old tune about the uh, a murder that happened in West Virginia. We did this tune last night and uh, everybody enjoyed it, so we got a request to do it again tonight. Yeah. 
this guy does a great job picking the guitar, singing uh, about any vocal part you want him to sing. He's a great songwriter. Plays about any kind of music you want to hear. You'll hear that uh, here in a little while. He's bound around the Wayne County area of West Virginia. Mr. Kelly Davis on the guitar over here. Give him a big hand. All oh, these are gone. this guy down here on the banjo we'll slow it down a little bit for you uh we did this tune last night too and we got a request uh from one of the staff members he really enjoyed this uh, tune tonight he was working the gate earlier helped us uh, get down to the bridge and enjoy the day here all the festivities and everything here's an old pretty song 
guy down here on the banjo right here singing the, a lot of the tenor vocals, a lot of the lead vocals playing the banjo from Allen Creek down Lincoln County, West Virginia, right there. Adam Rutledge, give him a big hand. Here's a real slow, pretty one for y'all. One called Old Flames. Downtown tonight, I saw an old friend, someone who
singing, young man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll introduce our version of Sam Bush here for you. <laughs> Adam says that's a, it's our Kmart Sam Bush right here. <laughs> this guy can uh, pick the strings off Betty any any instrument you put in his hand. He uh, comes from a long line of great musicians. He's played with a lot of people over the years. From Mingo County, now living in the uh, Boone County, Madison, Danville area, West Virginia. Big hand for Brandon Shooping right here. Here's a good old instrumental one called the Daybreak and Dixie.
years ago, Robert, about four years ago, we do this uh, great program for anybody that doesn't know about it. It's up in uh, Pocahontas County, West Virginia. It's called Allegheny Echoes. Huh? Ben? Nope. Nope. No Ben here, sorry. Nope, not Ben Towns. You're on the wrong end of the state. He's from Shepherdstown. Nope, not Ben Townsend. <laughs> All right, back to what I was talking about. We do this great program up in Pocahontas County, West Virginia, up in uh, in June. It's the last week of June every year. It's called Allegheny Echoes. And for anybody that wants to learn how to play this music, learn, learn the old traditional stuff of West Virginia and how this mountain music is still alive here. We uh, teach lessons and we pass along to the kids. Last year, I think we gave 85 scholarships out to children to come up there and learn and learn this music. So uh, get online, check it out. It's called AlleghenyEchoes.com. But that's where we first come across this young man I'm going to introduce to you about four years ago. He came up there and uh, he started taking lessons. And he's, he's been up there, what, four times now? And he's taking lessons on a different instrument every year he's been there. A different level of instrument, beginner to advanced every year he's been there. And anything you put in this guy's hands, he can play. He's a great singer, and he's a young guy, folks. He's 19 years old, right, Robert? And sing. 19 years old. So we're, we're slowly adopting him. Maybe, maybe we'll get him to where we want him to be eventually. We'll, we'll see. He's all right. He's going to sing you a great old traditional bluegrass tune here. Uh, he's from the Buckhannon area of West Virginia. Give Robert Russell a big hand. He's one of the reasons we were out till about 5 or 6 this morning, because the town like that comes around, you can't go to bed. So, uh, all right, here's a good old tune called Just When I Needed You. Oh, no. 
somebody someday. Oh, he's somebody right now. We're going to sing that song to all the cheaters out there. You know who you are. And we're watching you. He said, he said, I want a jam band. He said, I want a bluegrass jam band. And uh, when you think about the, the great bluegrass festivals out there and the all-star lineups of bluegrass, you're talking about the Tony Rices and the Sam Bushes and the Jerry Douglas, so those guys, you know, getting up there and just jamming out. You think of this song, and it's an old, old song. It's an old-time song. It comes from probably about 150 years ago, and they took it and just jammed it and bluegrassed it, and it's a great tune. Kelly's going to kick it off here for you. This is our Cam Mark Tony Rice, by the way. Kelly Davis again on the guitar. The one called Salt Creek for you.
Willie Davis again on the guitar. Man, that's some good picking, and then all around, give all these guys a big hand. Well, I think we got an announcement for y'all. Need to announce last call for beer and wine over in this tent and food in the back. Thank you. All right, last call, so go over there and get you a pocket full of beer and uh, fill up a Walmart bag full of food or something. You'll get the munchies later on tonight, I promise. All right, we uh, talked about Kelly, and somebody's always got to keep him in line. And uh, for about two weeks now, it's, it became her responsibility. Kelly's a newlywed. He's got a beautiful wife that uh, is a great singer. She's an amazing singer. She's from over in Kentucky area. I want you to welcome to the stage Julie Davis up here, Kelly's wife. Give her a big hand. Nice. <laughs> They're gonna sing pretty for you, so y'all uh, hang on.
She's a singer now, right? She'll make all of us look good. Jim came up last night. He said, why are we not on the road with this girl? Why are we not on tour right now? I, don't, I can't answer that. Y'all want to hear another one from her? Yeah. Oh, you want to dedicate it to you? This is dedicated to Miss Amanda Farrell. Because she's the designated driver, that's the only reason why. <laughs> you gotta give her something at this point. <laughs> Alright, here's another one for you. She said, hey, will y'all help me out with this? She did it last night, she did a heck of a job. So if we screw her up, it's it's our fault. So hopefully y'all like it. I got a friend out there, Jen, that can sing. I don't know if she's gonna I don't know where she's at. Jen, are you out there? Is that you right there in the wild? I know you can do this. Come on, just like, let's She's just wing it. She's got stage for us. Let's just wing it. She can say, hey, it's, it's, a, it's a midnight jam. <laughs> this old girl can sing her butt off. Awesome warm, y'all. You guys give it up for Jen Cabell. This is the first time ever, so we're totally winging it here. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We're doing a traditional bluegrass song. Um, some uh, Fleetwood Mac. You ready, Tim? We'll kick it off in F. One, two, three, four.
young loan. Big hit here for Julie Davis and Jennifer Campbell over here. That's a jam session right I there. I remember right? good company when it comes to uh, female vocals, by the way, including my wife and my one of my dearest best friends, Jim Kappel. They make us sound better, make us look better. Give them another big hand. That's hard to follow, boys. You got two good looking women coming up here and singing. That's kind of hard to follow. I think we do, well, hey, Adam, I think we better be doing some Larry Cordell um, lower on the hall. Huh, is that up, is that in B? We're going up to B. Going up, oh, we're going up to B? Oh. <laughs> After that performance, I might be singing this. Love, please come home. It might be a studly out there. I'll take my wife home. <laughs> Y'all want to hear some more bluegrass? Yeah. He said. <laughs> we are on, we're on the top of a mountain in Fayette County. Y'all want to hear some bluegrass? Yeah. Hey, I should introduce this guy just like I introduced him last night from the bluegrass state of the United States of America. <clears throat> All the way down to the core root of heritage of bluegrass music because actually it was where it was invented. Evidently, because they got all these guys from Dan Tominski, uh, way up there, Ben Fleck, all these guys. So I'm a little bit, um, excuse my language, a bit pissed off because I didn't get that kind of talent, but these guys did. But um, I beg to differ when it comes to uh, bluegrass music, and I've actually um, sadly not played bluegrass in about eight years with it, and these are my best pals. I've been doing rock and roll and country, and uh, they allow me to come up here and do this because they know at one point in my life I could do it, and I guess I still do it a little bit, and I'm proud to share the stage with all these guys, but... He finally got tired of making all that money. Right, exactly. <laughs> I didn't want to go broke. <laughs> so, uh, without further ado, from the Bluegrass State of New York, Mr. Tim Corbett on bass. Right Alright, we're gonna uh, jump it up and do you a quick old bluegrass standard. It's a Reno and Smiley tune written by Don Reno. One called Doug, Please Come Home.
Listen, if that boy ain't years old, I was catching the G chord. All right, stay right there, B boys. Halfway. <laughs> this guy that uh, is kind of top of the bluegrass world for the last 30 years or so and you ever, you ever see his uh, name on the bill it's a packed house his name is Doyle Lawson and they did this uh, song back in the mid 80s and uh, Brandon Shipping and I got a favorite vocalist what's up buddy we share a, a favorite vocalist he said all right you having a good time man all right. I'm glad you're sticking around having a good time with us. I got you. <laughs> All right, we're going to slow it down a little bit. Let the banjo man and the, the uh, awesome singer over here sing your pretty one here. Maybe. Here's a good old tune called uh, Julianne for you. Quit hitting the mock, dummy. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm.